Next on the program is a march titled The Chimes of Liberty, featuring our outstanding chime soloist, Jerry Gibson. <laughs> he didn't know I was going to. There you go. It's not often the chime player gets recognized, you know? Uh, it's 1937. Edwin Franco Goldman had a very busy year. He wrote eight marches that year and conducted a summer series of concerts at the Bandshell in New York. He titled this The Chimes of Liberty because he was concerned that he was seeing the winds of war begin to blow and he was worried that would the chimes of liberty still ring but what Goldman could not see was that the greatest generation went over there and made it possible. Here is The Chimes of Liberty by Edwin Frankel Goldman. Thank you. 